Hi friends. Welcome to 30 inks, 30 days, 30 cocktails, April, 2024. Obviously I'm doing something a little different this year. We'll see how long that lasts, especially if I have to catch up. So let's go. Um, usual supplies. Uh, I really should get a different thing because this is Tamora River paper and this is Tamora River paper. So it's kind of like maybe I should use a different paper. What do you think? You're not here. Um, hmm. Okay, thanks for the input. I listened or didn't. I got this, which is Midori um, cotton. And if you've been here a while, this is the thing I wrote in last year for February and I did poems and inspirational things like the lyrics to Despacito apparently um <laughs> you know and then this look at these these must have been favorite inks because like look at them I love them they're so good okay stop 30 inks 30 days 30 cocktails great so we're starting off with um, the focus for this month is going to be all the bottled inks that I own. We're starting off with a sample from Manda. <laughs> because I really want this in a pin. So this is Lamy Blackberry. And I'm going to put it in my Twisby Glow Purple. Because I feel like the base color is not that dissimilar. We'll see. This has a medium nib. I checked with my eyes with the glasses because I need them to see. Um, okay, so usual things. Oh, don't we love that April starts on, a, on the top of the page? Yes. So I'm gonna fill in the calendar up front, but like, probably not in the video because probably this will be wet. And then in here, if you haven't, weren't here, so I do a page like this where I have all of them. The line slants downward slightly. That's not bothering me at all. It's bothering me a lot. Look at this. I did like this really lovely like transitional thing. This month, I don't think it's gonna look like that. And then I do these, okay? So my plan is to basically keep to that, probably. So um, the month grid, I probably also won't fill out on camera because again, dry time, but we'll see. Let's go. Um, this is always the fun part of 30 inks is you see me struggling to fill pens. If you don't find that fun, well, honestly, neither do I. I'll, and I think I'm in my own light, so I apologize for that. I, the lighting situation, I haven't even had any of that drink yet. Situation is how it is. And it's probably not going to get better. So, oh, although I did have like a little glass condensation and then I touched the card for the sink and then that happened. So, <laughs> yeah. That's more than enough ink. Although I do think that all of these piston filling pens vastly prefer uh, being full to being only partially full. It's my experience. I forgot my um, ink cloth, so we're having to use these disposable things, which I don't love and that I grabbed for the sake of the um, thing where you blow the ink splat. Okay. So today's ink is Lamy Blackberry. The pen is this Trisbico in Glow Purple. And the cocktail is a gin and tonic made in the British way, I think. Which is to say what would be a half measure here in the U.S. <laughs> the U.S. 
the gin and standard gin and tonic is two parts, more or less, uh, gin to five parts tonic. The Brits, it's one part to five parts because it turns out that their single serve is 30 mil and ours is more like 60 mil. So friends in the UK, if you come to the US, probably don't order a double. Okay, anyway, we have so digressed, okay. 30 yanks, 30 days, 30 cocktails. What do we do? Okay, let's write the ink first. I don't usually, I usually write the pen first. Is that gonna irritate me? No, I do write the ink first. Well, who knows? Maybe it was just that one. Ink is Lummy Blackberry Pen Twisby Eco. Can we zoom you in a little? Yeah, that's better. Blow purple. Medium. Swipe left. Um. Should you just shorten cocktail to that? No, I'll write the whole word. Gin and tonic. And I'm going to write down the gin I used is Uncle Val's. I like it. And I became a person who didn't like gin to a person who has opinions about gin. And I don't even know who I am anymore. I mean, did I ever even really go so far as to do? Um, sorry. This is a pretty good M. How does it look? You know what? That's not a bad match. I'm gonna stick by this. I'm gonna stick by this. Okay, then we're gonna splat, 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 Taurus. You know what? I think I usually did the Hobonichi first so that it had a chance to dry. Things are coming back to me now. This is how it is every first part of the 30 month. What? <laughs> what? I'm sorry, Maria, was that English? I don't know. This is how it is the first day of any 30 inks. You're like, how does ink work? So it's fine. Anyway, you cover that. Also, look at this little ink -a pet. I don't know if you saw that they, they have come out with like an entire like Easter collection. They're so cute. I am not gonna get any more because I don't need more stuff, y'all. Don't need more stuff. And my Inca Pet works fine. So we're, we're going to do this to try and create a barrier. <laughs> yeah. I was going to like try not to do splats because I kind of think splats are Amanda's thing and it felt like I'm cheesing on her thing. But like y'all, she hasn't said anything about it and she never would. Even if she felt like I was cheesing on it, she's too nice. But I don't think she feels that way. I think she's just supportive and is like, do your thing even if it's what I do. Um, so if I change it up, it's because I'm like, what? I want to try new things. Um, it's true for so much of life, I suppose. I'm going to get this out of here. And we got to write. We write, we write, Lummy, Blackberry, Twisby, Eco, what? Glow Purple, Medium, 
gin and tonic. I have a question for y'all. If you are an imbiber, what's your opinion on gin and tonic? Do you have a favorite gin or tonic or both? Did you know about the whole different like measuring thing? I was in, for real, it was like the last day that I was in the UK. I was at the airport. It was a ho well, a hotel near Heathrow. Um, and that's when I found out that a single was half of what I was used to. And I was like, no wonder these drinks seem really watered down. Because <laughs> they are. But like the other thing is, when I was out there drinking, I felt like when, when I... I was like, I can't be ordering a double all the time. That feels like excessive. <laughs> Cause they think they probably think of it as one, you know? And apparently I care. Now, what do we want to do in the Midori paper? Okay, I'm gonna just like write some stuff. I don't know what we're gonna do. So I would like your thoughts on what we do on the Midori paper. Should I like write things? What if I write the cocktail recipe the way I make it normally? Okay, we'll do that. I didn't write day one. Day one, April, 2024. I'll fix it in post. <laughs> I won't fix it. Um, I'm just gonna write that. Gin tonic. 10 to 15 mil tonic syrup. Didn't expect that, did you? 60 mil gin. <laughs> you guys are going to love this. This is the last ingredient. Five ounces fizzy water. One section lime. I don't know why I called it a section. It's a wedge. Okay. Why did I call it that? Because I had some of the drink finally. Show of hands if you sometimes do back of the nib thing to get ink. All right. Uh, here is my not at all chaotic and totally professional. <laughs> 30, inks, 30 days, day one. Y'all, I mean, look, it wouldn't be 30 inks, 30 days from me if if it wasn't just a little bit, you know, you know, I'm going to say down here. There, I fixed it. Okay. Thanks. Get off my back. Um, a roaring start in April. I hope whenever you're seeing this, you're having a wonderful day. I'll be back with another 30 inks tomorrow. Ooh, this is, and we'll look at this dried splat, which is looking amazing, I have to say. 
Take care of yourselves. Bye.